I grew up in Arlington, Massachusetts, just very close to Cambridge and Boston. In fact, I was born in Boston. And I lived there until um, I came out here in 1951. And, uh, but before that, I uh, had a, I was very fortunate in the school that I went to in, in Cambridge, where I later taught. And um, I, during the Second World War, I wasn't very adventuresome about leaving home to go far afield, and so I, I went to the college that my sister was going to, also my mother had been in, which is Radcliffe College, which is now part of Harvard. And actually our diplomas were signed by the Harvard presidents because we had the Harvard faculty. Class. And um, so while I was in college, I did quite a bit of community um, service work. And among other things, I worked at a community center in in Cambridge where there were a lot of African-American children, Negroes we called them then. And um, so I became interested in that and my sister wrote a, her thesis on the difference between the um, students, the, the uh, black children who'd come from um, the Barbados and those from the South. And um, so we, we really got interested, both of us, in, in that. And then while I was in college, I had an opportunity to spend a summer at the Hampton Institute in Virginia as part of an interracial farm project. They needed more help on the farm during the war. And so that was a very important experience to me. And one of my closest friends, from that came from that era, and um, <clears throat> it was something that didn't go on for very long, I think. But I guess it was quite unique in the country to have that kind of experience. Yeah. And so all that made me very aware of the issues, and I was active with the uh, Massachusetts Fair Employment Practice Act, getting trying to get that established. And I, I remember going to the legislature to hear uh, the discussion uh, on that. And I got a ride home from Tip O'Neill to my college. 